said Golem of Destruction! Hello guys, Rikolo here, welcome to the newest deck play video. This time it's going to burn slowly. The general idea of this thing focuses on establishing number 30 Acid Golem of Destruction on the opponent's side of the field. The way it's going to be done is with the help of Geonator Trans... What? Transverser, yes. That's, that's a thing, which can switch control between the monsters it points towards. Since Acid Golem can be summoned via Bahamut Shark, it makes it so Golem has no Xyz materials preventing him from attacking, as well as burning the owner for 2000 every standby phase. As mentioned previously, Geonator Transverser has to point to both monsters uh, in order to switch control. That's why this deck utilizes things that can do that. Like Gearsu, the Orcist Mech Knight, which can summon a level 1 token to both sides of the field. And Silent Wabi, which can summon itself to the open side just because. That is pretty much the vocal point of the deck, the main focus. And to establish that we have our rank 4 Bahamut Shark Turbo Water package with Triple Aqua Spirit, Triple Lifeless Leafish, Triple Stingray, White Stingray, Double Tin Goldfish and Triple Silent Angler. Nothing to say more about this, just a typical rank for toolboxy play, which is water, so it can also go into Bahamut Shark and do other plays. We're also playing a small nimble engine with Double Sunfish, One Manta and Triple Angler. This helps in establishing the play with Lifeless Leafish as starters that can send Angler to the graveyard and provide two effect monsters on the field upon normal summon. When it comes to spells, it's mostly draw power with Performer Pop Popper Up, Mori of Greed, and Pot of Desires. For our one ofs, we have Rank Up Magic, the seventh one, Upsurge Goblin for more draw, Foolish Burial to send that nimble Angler, Monster Reborn because it's Monster Reborn, and Into the Void for more draw power. For the extra deck outside of what we already discussed, we have the C104 and 104 as the 7th one targets. I think those are the best at this point. We also have Baguska, Full Armored Black Ray Lancer, number 71 Rebarian Shark for the place with Bahamut Shark, Double Toad because it's Toad, the F0 package, and for our Link Monsters, so we have Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, and Link Karibo. Now that is finishing up the deck pretty nicely. Is it that good? No. Should you take it to a tournament of any level? Hell no. This deck focuses on a 3 to 4 card combo in which all components aren't searchable. The lock made by Acid Golem is obviously breakable. The owner can just tribute it, destroy it, or negate its effect. That's why, in my opinion, should there be a mad lad who can make this much more consistent and more of a 1-2 card combo, this would be an interesting anti-meta strategy. Anyway, enough rambling. Please enjoy your replays. 